Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to create a DSN for your SQL Server database present on cloud. So that's basically Azure, SQL Azure. So I'll just let you know how to connect to it as well. So I go to search SQL Server Management Studio. It's waiting. Come on. We just got a hold on yeah so here I have uh, if you have a SQL server database on cloud you will need to add the server name here the name of the server on cloud and uh, authentication SQL server authentication and here are my credentials I will log in through the read write credentials I connect okay so this is how basically you connect to the SQL Server present on cloud, SQL Server database. So as soon as you provide the correct credentials, we expand databases and here I have the databases on cloud. I go to, so to create the DSN, I go to control panel, I system and security and for that purpose to create a DSN you will need to have administrative credentials I go to administrative tools ODBC data sources 64 bit because I am on 64 bit system I click on add okay so to create DSN for database on cloud you need to use SQL server native client click on finish name it uh, let's name it Lua tutorial DSN2 and here you will need to provide the name of the server so I don't think I have it in the list so I just copied it copy kind of long so I really can't remember it okay so I backspace description is optional up to you I click on next You'll need to give the credentials which you need to log into the cloud database. Uh, my login ID is I will just copy it from here. Login ID and my password, which I'm not going to tell you. I go to next. Now change the default database so if you provided the correct credentials you will have the list of databases there on the cloud. Okay I didn't provide the right credentials there. I'll need to go back and check. I hope I provided the right credentials this time. I okay so yeah this is the database I am creating the DSN for I click on next keep it as it is finish we will test if I if we created the database the right way and it's working test data source successful okay so don't forget to click on this ok button otherwise the DSN won't be created click on ok and here we will find we find a DSN who are tutorial lesson 2 and you are done. So if it helped don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye.